as Sheikh al-Albani was now here just barely a few years ago. We're only talking decades, not centuries. And there he was, in those younger days, a table with four seats that big, not a small one-person space, four-person space, a full table, laid out with all of his manuscripts, laid out with all of the books and the page numbers and the references, researching here, turning around that way to that book, opening up that manuscript over there, looking at the notes over here. A person, when he thinks about it, thinks about how that studying was occurring, these kinds of things, they serve as an encouragement to a student of knowledge. They serve as an encouragement to every person, every student, hoping to learn and to be upon that path of talabul ilm properly. When you imagine that scene of a Sheikh al-Albani there with all of his papers laid out and his manuscripts and his books and his notes flicking back here and there, and we have seen similar kinds of things from the Mashaikh who are alive today. Similar types of things have been witnessed from them when you go to their homes and you see them sitting and studying in their office or their library, books laid out everywhere manuscripts and papers and notes here and there and they are looking through this and looking through that and this page and that page it is needed and that's why the scholars they say these days all of this technology that has come about these days which never existed only maybe 10 20 years ago all these encyclopedias now and cds you can get Type in the search and there you go. Everything is there. You don't need a table to lay out any books or manuscripts. You don't need anything. All you need is a tiny tablet and everything is there for you. But that is problematic. The scholars, the teachers in Medina, they used to mention it is problematic. You will not become a strong student of knowledge if you rely upon that method, you rely upon the search engine to find you everything, that will weaken the student of knowledge. Because one of the factors that actually strengthens a student of knowledge and makes him who he is, one of the factors involved in that is the actual process of studying the process of research. You imagine, you're looking for a hadith, and that particular hadith, for example, you know it's in a particular book, but that book is eight volumes big, and it doesn't have any index page in the olden days, when they used to print books, there was no such thing as index page, contents page. So there are eight volumes of this book. You know the hadith is in there somewhere. What are you going to do in the olden days? There is no such thing as open the laptop and do the search and it'll tell you which volume, which page it's in. No such thing. The only method in those days was to sit down, pick up volume number one, page number one, and start reading through it. Start reading through, skimming through, until you find your hadith. You may end up reading through, or generally skimming through, the whole of volume one, and who knows how many benefits you will pick up in doing that, but you don't find your hadith. So then you go through the whole of volume two, and how many benefits you pick up from that one, but you don't find your hadith. Maybe you go through to volume 6 until you come across that hadith you were looking for. But how much knowledge have you just gained from that weeks maybe or days at least of researching through that whole book, volume after volume, benefit after benefit until you found your hadith. Where is that student going to be in terms of his benefit compared to the one who sat down and pressed enter, and there was the hadith right in front of him. 
It is the difference between the skies and the earth, as they say. No doubt the technology is there these days to aid you as a supplement, to help you along, to quicken the process. You can get the reference, it's in this book, it's in that book. Make it a little easier for yourself, yes. But to rely upon that, press the enter, there's the hadith, copy and paste, never open a physical book in your life, then that will certainly weaken the student of knowledge. 